Good morning, how are you? Wish you are fine. I want to speak about Botox and hyperhidrosis. Botox for excessive sweating. How does it work? Sweating is normal. In fact, it's essential humans need to uh, sweat in order to regulate body temperature. Hyperhidrosis, more commonly known as excessive sweating, can significantly affect a person's quality of life. In some cases, problematic sweating is limited uh, to one area of the body, uh, such as the underarms or feet, a condition called focal hyperhidrosis. Other cases are more generalized with sweating over large areas of the body. Uh, the most common areas affected by hyperhidrosis are the scalp, underarms, hands, feet, and groin area. Excessive sweating can significantly affect a person's life. Uh, it can be embarrassing and socially isolating, and many people find the condition quite upsetting. Botox, often associated with cosmetic wrinkle, Reduction is also a, a particularly effective treatment uh, for focal hyperhidrosis. Botox uh, injections use botulinum toxin to block the nerve si uh, signals responsible for sweating, stopping the sweat glands from producing too much sweat. Retreatment is typically needed in four to six months as the nerves regenerate over time. However, patients can go longer between treatments. The injections are generally well t tolerated by patients and the treatment is very effective. Uh, in general, the underarms in particular respond well. Uh, sweat glands on the hands and feet also respond well to Botox injections, but patients tend to find the injections themselves more painful on the hands and the feet because there are more nerve endings there. It's important to be evaluated by a provider for excessive sweating because there is there are a few other rare serious conditions that can also cause excessive sweating symptoms. Botox injections are most successful when hyperhidrosis is confined to one area of the body. Uh, experts don't recommend Botox treatments for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding or for people with a history of neuromuscular disorders because Botox can result in muscle weakness in the hands uh, der uh, dermatologists uh, uh, and other like uh, the, of course the plastic surgeons will take uh, will talk with people to assess their career and lifestyle needs and determine whether Botox is the best option. The procedure is simple. Numbing cream is applied to the treatment area uh, up to one hour before the injections. I don't prefer at all to apply uh, this, but in general, uh, some of the doctors, some of the doctors tend to do that. The, th the, phys the physician will clean the affected area uh, and make many injections with a very tiny needle. Bruising, swelling, or tenderness is possible after the procedure, but in uh, but is generally minor. Uh, patients typically start seeing results in five days with full results after two to three weeks. Botox has been a revolutionary revolutionary treatment for hyperhidrosis. It has helped improve the quality of life for many patients. It is a great treatment. It works well and patients are really happy with the results. That's all about hyperhidrosis. In general, we can inject uh, 
uh, three areas like underarms, the hands, and the sole of the feet. Uh, um, according to the excessive uh, dose, uh, when, if, we, if we compare lidocaine, which is uh, at, uh, which is used for anesthesia, local anesthesia, uh, of course the uh, the poisoning of it is uh, we will have uh, less dose of uh, lidocaine in order to have toxic, uh, toxicity uh, if we compare it with the botox. That's all about uh, hyperhidrosis. If you like the video, please go under down uh, under the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, make like, share. That's all.